Uh, we're talking video. My name is CJ. And CJ in the car. Uh, so right now it is 11.03 at night. No, you look cute, mom. I got my prank calls and voices and stuff. Y'all know I used to do it. I got it from her. Didn't I, mom? Yeah, she got it from me. So tonight we both gonna be doing some childish things. We know it's childish, so you ain't gotta comment. She talked me into this. Okay. You ain't gotta comment like y'all too grown for that. We know. <laughs> That's why we do it. But it's funny. Uh, who do you want to prank call? But you had this already. Uh, Come on. We can. Man, no. Dude, call Denny's. I said D. All right, all right, Denny's. I got something for y'all tonight. Yes, uh, hello, how are you? Is this, is this the manager? No, ma'am. Okay, well, I need to speak with the manager. I was there uh, four hours ago. I got home and discovered my, uh, my dentures is, was, I, I think I left them there. Uh, okay. Um. I can't, I can't chew without those. And I'm hungry right now. I'm supposed to have my medicine. But when I take my medicine, I always eat me a meal first. And I can't eat my meal because I don't have my denture. You know, it's like a domino effect. Right. Okay. So I'm, my, man my manager, okay, ma'am? Okay. It's white. It's white. Hi, this is Sarah. How can I help you? Yes, I said I was in there four hours ago. And I think I left my dentures on the table. I cannot take my medicine because I take my medicine with my meal and I can't take my meal because I don't have my dentures. It's a domino effect, I told her. Um, do you, where were you sitting, hon? Well, when I first came in there, uh, you know, they take, okay, I, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I'm like right in the middle of the, in the middle, I was, I was with four elderly men and I was in the middle. Oh, okay, my side hurt. My second. side hurt. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting up. Go I'm get I'm gonna go look because nobody can't. Nobody found any. Oh no! Um, I can't do this. And I'm hungry. I can't. I can't. I can't, baby. I got to take something. Please come back to the phone and tell me you found them. Please. Okay. Hang on one okay. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, help me, Jesus. <laughs> Please let it be so, God. Please let it be so. Please. Please let it be so. Let them be there. Uh, let it appear, Lord, right now. I'm calling on you. Oh, Lord God. Oh, Jeter. 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 Jeter, Jeter, the midnight hour. And the morning time to come. Please, let it be so. I'm getting sleepy. I gotta take my, please. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm bewildered. Okay, I looked everywhere, honey. I didn't find oh, it. Oh, no. Uh, you don't understand what I'm about to go through. I just... I'm sorry. My second pair. Last time I was blessed to find him in my shoe. Because I... Hello? I'm just upset right now. Man, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I understand. I'm sorry. Last time I, I come home from service and I took my, my sweater off. And I last time, you know, I left him in there, and I, and I found him in my clothes basket. Oh. So I was happy to find him there, but this time I know I left them sitting on the, maybe somebody, you think somebody took them home with them? Oh, I don't know why they would. I mean, that's kind of. Well, those are some nice dentures. Those are nice oh. set. I got a nice set of teeth. I paid a lot of money for those. 
Um, well, hopefully you find them, honey. I'm not going to find them because I left them there. I left them there. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry, but I don't, nobody turned any in and I don't see any anywhere. Oh, you don't care about me. All right, fine. I'm never coming to Denny's no more. Never. God bless you anyway. You're wrong for this. You're wrong and I'm suing you. I'm suing you for my dentures. I can't eat nothing now. I can't. Good night. Good night. No. Oh, oh, no. No, you didn't. No. Mom. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was hilarious. You said. I'll top that one. Oh, my. I don't think I can out top it. You can out top it. I can't. I can't out. I can't out top that one, Mom. Um, it's on a different Denny's, right? I'm gonna call a different Denny's. Okay. All right, CJ, I don't want you to knock over the camera, so stay in one spot. I don't think I can outdo it. <coughs> CJ. Stop moving. <coughs> Hi, can I please speak to the manager, please? My name is Helga. One second. Hello, this is Damien. I may help you. Hi, Damien. Um, I was there about um about three and a half hours ago dining in, and um I'm not sure, but I think I left something there, and I was wondering if you guys could see if some like if someone took it behind the counter. What was it? I left my um uh, my pack of Newport cigarettes. What's that? I had a pack of a pack of Newport cigarettes. You said a pack of Newports? Yeah, a pack of Newport cigarettes, and um, it, had, it actually had about I think three cigarettes left, and about a uh, uh, two and a half butts. Uh, let me give a look, okay? Alright, thank ya. Come back and let me know. I will, hold on. God, I mean, man, I need smoke break. I swear. These kids are getting on my nerves. I, just, I, I need my butt. So. You better have found them. I know someone back there smoking my cigarettes. Because you can't afford your own. Hello? Hello? Y yeah, did you find them? I did not find them. Nobody turned in. What? What? Are you? Yeah, I, looked, I looked up front of the uh, But I, but but sir, what's your name? Damien. Damien. I was just there about three three and a half hours ago. I mean, I I, I know I left him there. I, I know I had to. Are you sure that your your employees? Do, does any of your employees smoke cigarettes? Uh, no. I had three butts left in there, and I had three and a half. I don't have any more change to scrape up to go get any more. Any more. Now my night. Well, I mean, is it possible? Is it possible that you guys can um, check the cameras and see if any of your employees are smoking them? Perhaps. I can give you a call back. Do I can you check the cameras and give you a call back? How's that? I don't know. You sound really suspect. Did you smoke my cigarettes? No, I don't smoke. I I'm telling you, man. These kids can get really stressful sometimes, and to keep me from beating them, it's like I have to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm telling you, man. Then I have my, my, my freaking husband. He comes in super late from work all the time. It's like I have to smoke a cigarette to freaking deal with his lies because I know he's coming back from cheating on me. Yeah, I mean, and he's like, he's at freaking work like super late all the time. It's like the only thing that can keep me alive really is my cigarettes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, 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 so are you sure you're like, you know, they're not there? Yeah, 
Yeah, no, they're not here. Have you smoked them? Have I? Yeah. Nah, I don't smoke. Well, you know, can I have a can I have a corporate number because it's like this is this is this is ridiculous. We actually don't have a corporate. We are our own store. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I mean, I know, this is crazy. you know, can I just express myself to you really quick? Can I just tell? It's just you know, me and cigarettes have a really great bond, and it's like I don't know. It's hard to replace those relationships. It's hard. Yeah. Are you trying to be sarcastic with me? I'm just trying to console you. Yeah, I, I need it. Can you buy me another pack? I mean, I don't have the money to scrape up another pair. I don't have it. I don't have it. And if I did, I would not be calling you and ask you for cigarettes. I only have three and a half butts. I only have three butts. You know, I need to take another sip of this. Hold on. Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's like... Uh, I, I just don't... I don't know. I, my life is going in a downward spiral. Now this, it just, it's just... This is, this is messed up. And I know... But unfortunate. But when I came there, I seen that your waitresses, they all look like they smoke. They all look like they smoke. It's not fair. Yeah, that, you know. I can tell, hey, I can, hey, hey, I can tell a smoker when I see one. You know? I'm pretty sure they can tell me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I can definitely tell. And I, and I know, I, I know they were smoking my cigarettes. No lie, man, no cap. You don't know now. What's that? I said, I said you don't know now. You know, Trick Daddy and Trina? Back in the day, back in the early 2000s. You don't know now. Yeah, back in the early, early days. You, yeah. And I just, listen, I just need my cigarettes. I'm, I, I don't even care about Trick Daddy or Trina or your, your smoking looking workers or the fact that my husband comes in every single night late from work and the fact that my kids freaking blame me for all their freaking mistakes at school and their freaking E's and D's come in with bad freaking grades. I just need my cigarettes. That's all I need. That's all I'm asking for. Yeah, it's pretty stressful without they don't have the nicotine. Gosh darn it! I knew you smoked them. I, you know, look out your window. Look out, cause I'm, I'm in the parking lot. Well, then come on in. I see you talking to me right now. I, I'm looking at you. I can see you directly. I'm staring into your eyes. I know you smoke my cigarettes. You have dark circles under your eyes. Are you are you being sarcastic, sir? Because at this point, I feel like you really don't care. No, if you want to come out and take a look at where you're sitting, you can even check there. All right, sir. Well, you know, uh, I uh, what what should I do if I don't find them? Uh, the only thing I can tell you to do is be find another pack. You know, go buy it. Now, how the hell can I find another pack of cigarettes when I don't have the money to purchase them? Hey, wait, if I come in, can you loan me like seven bucks? Just seven yeah, bucks. You like seven dollars? No, yeah. Sir, you're, you seem to like, you seem to me like you're a really good person. You're consoling me. All I need is seven bucks. You want a job? Y yes, that would be even more greater. Because then. Come on in. Are you guys hiring? Yeah, come on in. Sir. Sir. Yeah. Are, are you serious? Yeah, come on in. All right. Uh, I'll I'll come in. I'll come in there soon. But I just have one more question. Sure. Um. Can I see a prayer? Huh? Can Can, can I see a prayer real quick with you? Sure. Dear Lord, you know. I, I really I really hope that you reveal to me that this man's lying. That what? 
Lord. You know, I, I, I'm I talking to the Lord. I'm asking that you just pray with me, okay? Just bow your head, close your eyes. Dear Lord, I'm asking Lord that you reveal to me where my cigarettes are. I know this man on this phone has been stealing them. I know he's been smoking them. So just reveal the truth. Amen. All right, Um, I just feel like I'm going to have a dream tonight, and I'll wake up tomorrow morning, and I'll come in. Right, right. And I'll yeah, have a couple of what? So you're gonna have a drink? No, I said I was gonna come in there and search for whoever smoked my freaking cigarettes. Oh, I thought you were gonna come in and get a job, fill out an application. I, right now, I don't care about the job. I just really want my cigarettes. It's like if if you had something that you really loved and adored and cared for and appreciated, then you would feel the same way, you know? Oh yeah. Oh, gosh. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Love he really just was no fun. Mine oh, you want to do oh, one? Oh, you want to do one? Okay, okay. Do one. You go prank call. Oh, he's so cute. Where's my mommy at? No, that's not what I want, What do you want to say? Can I speak to the manager? <coughs> okay, you're not answering. Well, we don't think it's here. Could it other guys? <coughs> Could it other guys? Thanks for calling me, Denny. Let me help you. Well, sure. What's up? Who is this? Mm. Oh, they hung up on you. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> you gotta keep talking, CJ. <laughs> oh, booby. <laughs> All right, ma, do the biker. I'm calling the same one. No. All right, what? You can't call the same one because they're gonna say it's a bunch of prank callers. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do the biker. I gotta make up a scenario of a story. The dentures is off the top of my head. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, funny. what's another restaurant that be open all night? Uh, Coney Island? I, I, I hop. Is it? I hop open all night? Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, snap. All right, all right. <laughs> you gonna be a biker? <clears throat> I want him to already be talking about They got teeth. Like, rock on, baby. I told him, rock on. <laughs> told him, rock on, Rocky. Too long to answer. See, man, I couldn't, I couldn't top that. I should do the old woman too. You could do the old woman. She do, she prank call better than me, y'all. That's why I get it. She, she, she good. But you better than me, my mom. Yours was funny. They think taking too long to answer. I'm a biker, man. All right, I'm gonna do. <clears throat> man, my voice hurt. Some cigarettes. <laughs> Man, this biker might be stale because the first time you're on this one. I'm sorry, what did you say? Alright, so it came in tonight. We got about five pancakes off the top, a side of sausages, and yeah. eggs, and now I'm sick. And I know that's the only place I ate at. Me and my buddies rode our bikes down there, and uh. We always come over, you know, ride around, you know, ride around the parking lot sometimes and stuff. But this time, my stomach hurts, and I know it's from those five pancakes. So you guys did anything different? Let me know now because I got allergies, um, kind of like uh, side effects. I take a lot of medication. I had um, let me see, buttermilk, buttermilk pancakes. Cause that's what us, that's what us bikers. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, we didn't switch anything. What time did you come? I come. I I came in there around six o'clock. Me and my bikers buddies. It's about ten of us. I don't know if you remember. We had leather jackets on. Excuse me. I wasn't here around then. I'm just saying we had on our leather jackets and pants. We was looking fresh, man. We looking good. And I just think somebody back there was kind of hating on us and stuff like that because we were all sitting around the table, you know, just having a good time, and we all ordered pancakes, you know. You know, like the little deal you guys got about how many you can eat and stuff like that. 
They keep bringing the pancakes back to you over and over again. That kind, yeah. So I ate five of those mugs, man. I'm telling you. I come home and I'm telling you I pooped. I pooped my brains out, man. And I'm sick. And I don't know what's going on, but I'm just, I, I just need to know that you changed the ingredients in the pancakes. Twice now we haven't changed anything. Not even in the buttermilk? How do you know the buttermilk wasn't sour? We make our batter daily and nothing has changed. Something's inside that batter, man. I'm sick and I'm scared, man. I'm a biker, but I'm scared. Stay woke. Stay woke. I can't do this no more, man. I always come to IHOP and this happened. This never happened to me, man. Don't you? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> That wasn't funny as the other one. I got one. Okay. Yeah, I came through the drive-thru and it was like super, super stone. Hi. Hi, my name is Bethany. Am I speaking with the manager? Yep. Hi. Hi, my boyfriend, I think he like came, I don't know if this is the right McDonald's that he came to, but he came around the drive-thru. I was not there, but I would like to know, was he in the car with a, a woman with like brown hair? <laughs> oh my god. Is this not good for her? <clears throat> this... Man, it's starting to get. Hello, McDonald's. Hi, Molly. How can I help you? Mm -mm. Hi, how are you? Um, uh, am I speaking with the manager, please? Yes, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Um, okay, so you're a woman. I'm a woman, okay. So, listen, I, my boyfriend came through the drive through a little bit earlier, maybe like a couple hours ago, but I was not with him, okay? I would just like to know, like, when he came through the drive through he had, like, ordered... What he order? Uh, he came home and he had like I don't know like two McDoubles, bacon McDoubles or something like that. So I don't know like if you could search the orders, but did he have like another girl in the car with him? Um, not that I paid attention. Uh, because he, because I was, you know, I had to find my friend's iPhone app on, and I can see where he was, and he it showed that he went to McDonald's, and like. I just don't know, like I know that he was with that girl and like he loves to go there with her and it's just like, could you guys please just let me know? His name is Aaron. I'm being cheated on and it's like, I'm so, this is ridiculous. I know he came, I know he came through that, Hello? yes, he came through the drive-thru. Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Can can you hear me? Yeah, I'll see if I can now. Okay, yeah. He came through the drive through and um he had like another girl with him. Could you guys please just let me know? Cause no one else will let me know. Did someone come through the drive through? They had like a uh they can make double two they can make double order a guy. Yeah, did he have a girl in his car? Because I swear to, I swear, if he was cheating on me, it's over. He's done this seven times. Seven times? Yes, he's, he goes to that same McDonald's or he takes her to McDonald's because she loves to get the Happy Meals and things like that. And he like buys her McDonald's and stuff. And it's like, I just can't do this. Like as a woman coming from another woman. Right, I do, and I, and I do understand woman to woman, I mean, but honestly, I have been so busy, I, he probably did, and I didn't pay Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, so are you telling me that he did? Are you telling me that this could be true? I, no, I'm telling you that I don't know, because I was oh really busy, so what I'm telling you is a lot of guys came through here with girls, so... Oh my, know, oh my god, so that's a possibility that he was. Now, can I, what's your name? I'm sorry, what's your name? Tracy. Can I ask you a, que a question, Tracy? Yes. If your man was was taking your card, your credit cards, and spending McDonald's and, uh, like, food 
on other women. Like, what would you do? Like, what would you do? Because you the truthful answer. And please give me the truthful answer because I have two kids with him already. No, you don't want the truth because that'll get you in trouble, honey. You don't want to go there. It's, that's what you just No, please somebody. tell me the truth. I need to know. I need some. I need some guidance. What? Do you tell me to do what? No, you know, um, you need somebody that's gonna give you like some real sound advice because I get emotional. Like you, I've been a busted ass in the head. And I ain't the one. I I would have busted ass in the head too. I would have busted him in the head with what? With what? I don't. I I I I, I could do. I ha listen. I have high heels. I mean, girl, I have high heels at home. But like, I don't want to kill him because then I'll go to jail. I'll I'll leave my exactly. kids. Definitely. That's why I say you don't really want to, like, be, you'll be somewhere where you don't need to be. You say you got two kids. I do. I have two your kids. kids and more. Listen to this, though. Your kids need you more than he do. You're right. You're right, yeah, Tracy. Boy. You're right. think about it like this. Stop away from your kids because if you're always spending your money on other <laughs> Yes. Then guess what? You need to dump him and wait for somebody that's going to come in your life that's going to oh. only for you. Oh, my God, Tracy. Tracy, 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 you're so right. You're so freaking right. You know, it's just so hard because I'm so in love with him. I'm so in love with this man. It's like he keeps on over and over and over again. And it's like, wow. I need someone to talk to. It's like, should I talk to another man? But if I do talk to another man, it's like, I, I know what he'll do. He'll come and knock me in the head. He'll knock me in the head. He won't know if you don't tell him. Oh my god, you know what? You need to be my friend. Like, you're the kind of friend that I need. Like, honestly. He won't know nothing unless you tell him. But you need to get away, you need to get walk away from that situation for things turn out bad. Okay. Get your kids away from that situation. Yeah, your but. Kids don't, your kids don't need to see you go through that. But, Tracy, those are his kids too. Those are his kids as well. And he wrong for letting him for letting his kids see he, him treat you like that. I don't know what I'm going to tell him when they get older. You're right. You're so freaking right. It's like I, I've been doing this to myself for so long. And I finally and talked. And I just and feel like. Yes. It's time out for you to stop doing that. You're right. It's time out. It, 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 Sorry, baby. But I got to go because we're busy. Thank you, Tracy. I, I love you. Please walk away. I will. I will. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey, she gave it. Okay. She gave it. Okay. okay. That's that McDonald's advice. Okay. Yeah, that's that McDonald's. That's that Big Mac. Oh my goodness. Mm. What you wanna? What you? You say Big you got Mac one? Spoke big facts. You wanna do one more, mom? Huh? Hmm. You wanna do one I'm more? Try one. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Let me see. Mom, I'm sorry, but your number, your number one got me dead. What am I doing? Excuse me. I said we aren't taking any orders at this time. We don't have a cook yet. So you're not taking notice and you don't have a cook. Then why are y'all open? Oh, we're just waiting for him to get here. He's running late. So why even answer the phone until he gets that then? Because I'm still going to let people know. So you're going to answer the phone and tell me I can't get nothing to eat? Where's your manager? Well, where's the other manager? Somebody there in charge. No, I'm only sitting here right now. Then what are you in there by yourself or something could happen to you? Y'all young folks, you know what, y'all young folks ain't smart today. Now, if they got you in there and they don't have no cook in there, you need to quit that job. That's not right, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be here much longer. I wouldn't be there either. You know what, I know a nursing home is hiring. Uh-huh. I had to wait. Yeah. Are you a good cook? Oh no. <laughs> oh, you don't know, cause I know some nursing homes could use you. They like we need cooks up in there and stuff like that. Oh uh, yeah, I'm just a waitress. Yeah, you just a waitress. Well, I wouldn't be in there, honey. They ain't got nothing for you in there. Uh, no, 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 with the protection or something like that. And they ain't got no cook in there. They don't need to be open. They got food in there. Yeah, food in there. Oh, well, so if you was at home, you'd mean to tell me you don't know how to make you, yourself something oh, to eat? one second. Whew, what'd you say, baby? Hold on one second. She got me on who? She didn't put me on. I was going to ask her to go fry me some french fries. I know she can do that much.
I want I want you to fry me some french fries. Go on, baby lady. Come on. Come on. Come on through. Come through. <laughs> Come through. I want you to fry me some french fries. <laughs> I want some french fries and a chicken sandwich. Hello? Yes. Would you do me a favor? I know you can do it. Could you, could you at least make me some french fries? I know you can make some french fries. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. I was thinking like a chicken patty and some french fries. You can drop them in the same grease if you want to. I'm hungry, baby. Alright. So what did you want? I want an order of french fries and a chicken patty. That's all I want. You ain't got to put nothing on the bread. Just put some mail on it and in the, in the bun. That's it. And that's all I want. Put me some packs of... Uh, Ketchup in that. And you said you want what? A what patty? Uh, you got chicken patty, babe. I just want one chicken patty. You can fry them in the same grease. I don't care. It ain't gotta be. It ain't gotta be professional or nothing like that. I just want something cooked because I can't do it here myself. I can't do it. No, we got a fried chicken sandwich. You want that? That'd be good. That's okay. fine. Oh, you so sweet, guy. Oh, God bless you, honey. That's so nice of you. Is that all? That's all I wanted. That's all I ever wanted. And what's the name? Eloise. Okay, see you again. All right, baby. God bless you. Bless you. All right, you boo 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 <laughs> boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> no, did you, did you just say boo 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 boo? <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> You said Eloise. Eloise. Mama, where'd you get that name from? Know, it just popped up the top of my head. All right, y'all. We were just having some fun together. Oh, yeah. I just want to tell y'all a little story right quick. I got to tell my story. Queen walked up to me with a nail, a broken nail. I want to do one, Mommy. And she rubbed it across my arm. My brush. She scratched my arm with it, and I was smiling until she told me it was her toenail. She broke up. That was funny. I just had to tell that story. Oh, uh, my own call. Aw. All right. Peace out in Jesus' name. Love you, love bugs. Love muffins.